In today's episode of Asian Military Power, we turn our focus toward a compact but incredibly influential piece of Turkish defense engineering. A system that doesn't roar through the sky like a fighter jet, doesn't carry heavy bombs, and doesn't rely on long wingspans or massive engines. Instead, it quietly glides, observes, and informs. This is the Bayraktar Mini UAV, a small aircraft with a big role in modern warfare, and one of the core building blocks of Turkey's rise in unmanned aerial technology. The Bayraktar Mini UAV represents the early roots of Turkey's now world-famous drone ecosystem. Long before the Bayraktar TB2 became a global icon and before the Akin Sea began dominating high-altitude missions, Turkey needed something small, portable, and easy to deploy, something that could be carried in a backpack, launched by hand, and operated by a small team. The result was a mini-class reconnaissance drone designed to give troops real-time intelligence directly on the battlefield. When we talk about military success today, especially in complex terrains, we often hear the terms, real-time data, situational awareness, and, rapid response. The Bayraktar Mini UAV answers exactly that need. It was created to be the eyes of ground units, eyes that do not blink, do not get tired, and can go where soldiers cannot safely reach. The drone is manufactured by Baker, the company that has become synonymous with Turkey's drone revolution. The Mini UAV was one of their earliest operational systems, and it proved that Turkey could design unmanned aircraft without relying on foreign parts or foreign permissions. This idea would later evolve into a national philosophy, build drones domestically, use domestic software, and develop domestic flight control systems to avoid external restrictions. The Mini UAV is the foundation of that philosophy. Physically, the Bayraktar Mini UAV is small and streamlined. It weighs only a few kilograms, can be launched entirely by hand, and can operate quietly, even in difficult or windy conditions. The body of the aircraft is built using composite materials that keep it lightweight while still strong enough to withstand rough landings. The drone follows a canard configuration, with small forward wings helping to stabilize it during flight. This aerodynamic design gives it better glide efficiency and smoother control. Unlike large drones that rely on runways or complicated launch systems, the Mini UAV is completely portable. Soldiers in the field can take it out of a case, assemble it within minutes, and then simply throw it into the air. There is no warm-up time, no heavy fuel, and no special equipment needed. This portability is one of the main reasons the drone became so popular among Turkish ground forces, especially during operations in mountainous regions and conflict zones where larger UAVs cannot be easily deployed. The drone is equipped with an electro-optical camera system capable of capturing both live video and still images. The real-time feed is transmitted straight to the operator's ground control tablet. This gives soldiers the ability to see enemy positions, monitor borders, scan forested areas, track movements, and detect ambushes before they happen. The quality of the camera has steadily improved over the years, and later variants also include nighttime and low-light operation capabilities. But the story of the Bayraktar Mini UAV is not just about hardware. It is, in many ways, the story of software. Baker designed its own flight control algorithms, its own autopilot systems, and its own interface for operators. This allowed the drone to fly completely autonomously once a mission path was uploaded. It can take off, patrol its assigned area, stabilize during high winds, return to base, and land safely without constant manual control. One of the standout features is its ability to perform automatic belly landings on rough terrain. This might sound simple, but in real combat environments, where there's no runway, no flat open area, and no support vehicles, this is extremely important. The mini UAV can land in dirt, rocks, grass, or uneven ground and still remain intact enough for redeployment. Its operational range and endurance are also impressive for its size. It can fly several kilometers away from the operator and remain in the air long enough to gather meaningful reconnaissance data. This endurance makes it valuable for border patrol missions, search and rescue operations, anti-terrorism operations, and even natural disaster assessments. The Bayraktar Mini UAV has been heavily used in Turkey's southeastern regions, where mountainous landscapes and hard-to-reach valleys make reconnaissance particularly challenging. It has also supported counter-terrorism operations by giving Turkish forces a silent advantage, the ability to monitor enemy hideouts without revealing their own positions. That silent intelligence has helped prevent ambushes, detect roadside threats, and track militant movements long before ground troops make contact. 
By giving soldiers a bird's eye view of the battlefield, even at the small tactical unit level, the mini UAV has improved coordination and helped communicate enemy positions faster than traditional observation methods. A patrol that previously relied on binoculars or static observation posts can now deploy a drone that covers far more distance in far less time. The system has also been widely used in humanitarian situations. When floods or earthquakes hit, the drone can be rapidly deployed to locate missing people, map out hazardous zones, and guide rescue teams to safe routes. In many ways, the mini UAV demonstrates that unmanned technology is not just about warfare, it's also about saving lives. As Turkey's drone ecosystem evolved, the mini UAV received upgrades in software, camera systems, battery life, and communication modules. The latest models have stronger encryption, better image clarity, and more resistance to electronic jamming. These upgrades ensure that the drone remains reliable even in electronic warfare environments. The success of the mini UAV also helped pave the way for Turkey's more advanced systems. By mastering the basic principles of drone design, Baker gained the experience needed to build larger and more capable platforms like the TV2, TV3, and the Akin C. In fact, many of the domestic technologies used in the larger Bayraktar drones can trace their origins back to experiments first conducted on the mini UAV. The international impact is also significant. As Turkey became one of the leading drone exporters in the world, interest in its early systems grew. Several countries in Asia and Africa evaluated the mini UAV for local forces that needed a low-cost, reliable reconnaissance tool. While the larger Bayraktar models earned global fame, the mini UAV played a quieter role, providing training, testing environments, and operational experience for multiple militaries. The Bayraktar mini UAV shows that in modern warfare, you don't always need something big to make a big difference. Sometimes, the most important advantage a soldier can have is simply knowing what lies ahead, and this drone provides exactly that. Its presence on the battlefield reduces risks, increases coordination, and enhances tactical decision-making. The system also demonstrates how national innovation can transform a country's defense capabilities. Turkey's decision to invest early in its own UAV ecosystem has paid off massively. Today, Turkish drones fly across continents, operate in multiple conflict zones, and compete with some of the world's largest defense manufacturers. This entire journey began with small steps, including the development of compact drones like the Bayraktar Mini UAV. As Asian military power, we always highlight the importance of accessibility and technological independence in modern defense strategy. The Bayraktar Mini UAV stands as a perfect example. It is simple, reliable, and effective, yet it embodies the larger vision of a nation building its way toward military self-sufficiency. In a battlefield environment where threats evolve constantly and where information can mean survival, tools like the Bayraktar Mini UAV become essential. They are not flashy, they are not loud, and they do not dominate headlines, but they do dominate the unseen layer of modern warfare, intelligence. Turkey's defense industry continues to push boundaries, but it is important to recognize the early systems that made today's successes possible. This little drone, carried on the backs of soldiers, launched by hand, and guided by advanced Turkish software, continues to contribute silently but significantly to field operations. The Bayraktar Mini UAV is a reminder that sometimes the most powerful military tools are not the largest or the most expensive. Sometimes, they are the ones that empower the soldier on the ground. And in that sense, the Mini UAV is one of the most influential systems of its kind. Thank you for watching Asian Military Power. If you enjoyed this deep look into Turkey's Bayraktar Mini UAV and want more episodes about drones, military technology, and defense capabilities across Asia and beyond, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we continue exploring the technologies shaping tomorrow's battlefield.